10 tips for buying a new construction home. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today, I'm gonna to be going over 10 tips for buying a new construction home. As you've known, or if you've seen any of my videos on YouTube, I talk a lot about new construction. And I talk a lot about buying new construction in Las Vegas. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in the Las Vegas Valley, here are my top 10 tips for you. My first tip is weigh the pros and cons. Should I buy new construction or should I buy a resale home? What is best for you? Buying a new construction, nothing beats being the first person to ever live in that home. To pick out all the amenities that you want to live in. You can buy a brand new home three different ways. One, you can buy a spec home, which a spec home is what most people usually buy. Like when you're buying from Taylor Morrison, Toll Brothers, Lenara Pulte, those are all considered spec homes or builder grade homes. Um, and to eat, parse it even further when it comes to spec, sometimes the builders will spec out a home, meaning they'll pick all the upgrades for the home and all you have to do is just buy it. Unfortunately, you will not be able to change the selections that the builders have, the builder's agent has chosen. However, it's brand new, no one's ever lived in it. Or you can build from ground up and cho choose your structural options and also any upgrades that you want in the home. The next one is buying a semi-custom home. A semi-custom home basically is kind of the same process of buying a spec home. However, you may have a little more options when it comes to the structural um, options. And then your last option is actually just buying a custom home from ground up. Not a lot of people do that, and you have to be pretty deep pockets to be building a custom home. So everyone usually goes for the number one, which is a spec home, by all the builders here in the Las Vegas Valley. But before you get caught up on the new paint and the sparkly fixtures and countertops, you need a way of buying new construction fits your lifestyle. Now, are you okay with living in a cookie cutter subdivision? It seems like more and more as they build these new construction homes, they do look a lot more cookie cutter. The lots are a lot smaller and you just see a row of houses. And when you buy a little older home for resale purposes, most of the homes may be a little more different or unique. But you know, Las Vegas homes, and I did a video on this, tend to be very cookie cutter unless you're buying a semi-custom or custom home in the more exclusive areas. And again, new homes tend to be built right on top of each other, especially if you go look at um, Summerlin, the Stonebridge Village or the Red Point Village, you'll just see them bam, 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 bam. They're like super tight. You have no square footage and no yards. So when you're buying an older home or a resale home, you may have a bigger lot. So those are, you know, way out your options when you're buying new construction or resale. Tip number two is Get your own real estate agent and lender. Now I don't know how much I need to pound it in the ground about getting your own real estate agent. However, I'm just going to briefly go over this why it's important to have your own real estate agent represent you. Now side note is if you are buying new construction, your real estate agent needs to be there on the very first visit. Otherwise I will not or they will not be able to re represent you if they do not register you the very first time you are there. Um, and it's important because there's a lot involved when buying new construction that a lot of people don't think about. I've had a lot of clients tell me that I've bought new homes before in the past, I never used an agent, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to have an agent represent you as an ally, as a representative, we're free of charge, uh, you know, it, you know, to make the process smoother, you know, there's a lot involved and it's very important that you have someone there to go over everything. And there's a lot of questions that you may not even thought about asking that is very important to go over. Another thing is that you also need to probably get pre 
qualified or pre-approved with the lender prior to even looking at new construction because great let's go look at new homes let's register put our names down can you even qualify are you even a qualified buyer so get pre-approved by a local Nevada or Las Vegas lender they have to be licensed in Nevada now if you want to use Chase or Bank of America or Wells Fargo you can but as a side note I don't ever recommend using those types of lenders because you will get be because you will be passed from one agent to another agent to another agent when you use a local lender you're with that local lender from beginning to end now as a side note quite a few of the builders not all will offer incentives if you use their in-house lender. And what I mean by incentives is they may offer to pay a percentage of your closing costs off of the base price. So if your home, the base price is 500,000, they may cover only 2% of the base price towards your closing costs or 3%, which is huge savings because that's extra cash that you don't have to come up with and you can spend in the upgrades of your home. So when you are about to start looking for new construction you need your own real estate agent and you need your own lender now you don't have to use the lender um, that the builder provides you can use any lender that you like but you know if they give you incentives obviously i would go with the lender that has the best benefits for you tip number three is research the builder and the neighborhood it's very important to look at the reviews of all the builders in the Las Vegas Valley. I mean, we have numerous builders, Lennar, Pulte, Toll Brothers, Harmony Homes, Beezer Homes, uh, gosh, Century Communities, Richmond American, KB Homes, to name a few that I can think of. Read up on them, see if there were any issues during the construction phases, um, see if any issues with defects when the clients moved into their homes and two neighborhood. Yeah, great, you're buying a brand new home. Fun, that's awesome. But what is that neighborhood gonna look like in 10 years or even five years? If it doesn't have an HOA, then that neighborhood's gonna look pretty lousy in the end. But most neighborhoods here in Las Vegas, if not all newer ones, will have an HOA. So you know that Summerlin, for example, in 10 years, we know that that Summerlin neighborhood is going to uphold its value. Because if you look at resale homes in Summerlin that are 30 years old, those neighborhoods are still desirable and people still wanna move into them. So when you buy new construction, I think it's important to buy in a master plan community just because of that fact. Um, I show a lot of houses and those homes were once new homes. And then when I look at them, it's kinda like dumpy looking. So think about how it's gonna uphold its integrity and how the neighborhood is. And what's around it, shopping, conveniences, etc. Tip number four is be aware of new construction timing. So as you know, right now, there is a huge lumber shortage going on and a lot of builders are still trying to get caught up from this lumber shortage. So people that had bought back in March still do not have their houses framed. Um, I have a lot of homes under construction right now and quite a few of my buyers are delayed. The build of their homes are delayed by a couple of months because of this. So typically you could see around six to 12 months for a build. Now it's a little more than that. I would say nine to 12 months. It may take longer. Um, so, okay, great. You're buying a new home, but where are you gonna be living during this time while it's being built? Now I did mention that some of the builders will offer spec homes in a normal world, in a normal market. Some builders may have a few, which they call standing inventory, but I don't see it happening. I don't see any standing inventory hanging around just because of how fast things are going. But in a normal market, if you need a home fast and a builder has it, then that's a great option. Tip number five, do not expect price reductions. <laughs> seriously it's the price that it is and it's not going any lower you can't haggle you can't negotiate in price for new construction like you could in resale the price is firm and it's set and that's the price that you have to pay 
um, especially in this market. Now, if it's a slower market, maybe the builders will offer other incentives like um, additional upgrades for your home. However, right now it is a rat race and you're not getting any deals, okay? The only deal you may get is uh, lender incentives if you use the in-house lender. Tip number six is know what's standard and know what's extra. So when you're going into a new model home, you better believe that pretty much everything in that home is an upgrade and is extra. And your home's not gonna look like that unless you wanna fork up a lot of money. Even the faucets, they have faucets that are upgrades. The How the walls are, are upgrades. The baseboards, every little thing is an upgrade. So be prepared on knowing what is included with the home and what is an upgrade. And tip number seven is keep resale value in mind when you're selecting your upgrades. So normally when you buy a new construction home, the only thing that comes tiled is the entryway and all the wet areas, entryway, kitchen, and bathrooms. Everything else is carpeted. Who wants carpeting? We live in the desert. A lot of people don't like carpeting here in Vegas. So I think flooring is an awesome upgrade for resale value. And as we all know, kitchens and bathrooms are what sells the home. So don't focus on a lot of other things and you know, like faucets and door handles and all those things can be changed later on if you don't want to spend extra on those upgrades. But obviously kitchen cabinets and countertops are harder to change out and so is flooring. I would select, you know, obviously um, a good cabinet and countertops. You can always do the backsplash yourself later on in the future if you don't want to do the, they usually come with either the granite or the quartz four inch backsplash. Um, and then also the flooring is very important. If you do carpeting, I would keep the carpeting upstairs and keep uh, downstairs all either tile or wood or, or laminate or vinyl, whatever you choose. But know what um, is going to be the most bang for your buck when it comes to resale. And that's why having an agent on your side would help with those options or help with that. And tip number eight is pick a great lot, right? Now, even though I'm telling you to pick a great lot, there's something you gotta think about though, especially in Summerlin, is if you pick a great lot, that's gonna cost money. And lots are not cheap here in Vegas. And they can be anywhere between some, depending on the area, 50,000 to 300,000. Um, but you wanna have a bigger size lot. So typically the square footage right now, in new constructions between four to six thousand square feet max and anything over six thousand is a luxury <laughs> um, so if you can and you're able to afford a bigger lot then i would go for it and then also picking a lot you need to consider about how the sun sets and rises you know are you going to buy a house that's facing east or are you going to buy a house facing west or are you going to buy a house facing north or south vice versa um, what is best for energy savings and for views as well. And tip number nine is know your warranty. Typically when you buy new construction, each builder has different types of warranties. They may have a warranty on the appliances for the year. They may have a warranty of 10 years on the construction defects. Um, so know your warranty inside and out so that you're better prepared if anything bad happens in the future. And last but not least, tip number 10 is hire your own home inspector. Now, some builders require you to get permission and you may need a 30 day permission to have that home inspector on site before you closing. I would have a home inspection a few days prior to closing. You need to make sure that uh, what are the rules that those builders have when it comes to having the home inspector. But you know, they're gonna just make sure that everything's in good working order. Um, and that it's operational and there's no defects or there's no issues with the plumbing, the air conditioning, etc. So that was my top 10 new construction home buying tips. Uh, I've had about 20 plus new home sales this year. So I'm quite experienced on helping my clients buy new construction. 
Um, another tip that I always like to give when you're buying new construction, especially in the valley, is buy in the beginning of phases. I've done a couple of videos of new construction coming soon to the Las Vegas Valley. Um, it's always best to buy in the beginning of the phase because one, every time a phase is released, the lots go up. Um, so by the time that this community is completed, you will have gained equity in the home. I just had clients that bought the first phase in Castellana by Taylor Morrison in the Red Point Village. It's very exciting that, you know, they're the first ones in that phase. Um, so yeah. Now, another thing though to think about is even though you're in the first phase, then even though you're saving money, is that the construction going on for a year? Are you okay with living in a construction zone for a year while all the other houses are being built? So there's a lot of pros and cons to buying new construction versus over a resale home. And I didn't even talk about property taxes. In Nevada or here in Las Vegas Valley, the property taxes are typically 1% of total purchase price. I go over this in every video I talk about in new construction. So just FYI, if you haven't seen those videos, that property taxes are 1% of total purchase price versus buying a resale home, which is considerably a lot lower, if not half. Anyways, if you're thinking about buying new construction here in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call, Angela O'Hare at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a buyer form link down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? smash that subscribe button, um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.